What's up guys, it's Mr. Bringle and today we're going to be talking about the charging by induction concept builder from concept builder or from physicalclassroom.com and um, I'm just going to be going over the apprentice level here because it'll give you the information that you need to do the rest of the concept builder. So um, this says that a neutral aluminum Pi 10 is charged by induction. Um, so what that means is in, in the first step, a neutral, the neutral pie plate is brought near a positively charged acrylic board. So this is the acrylic board here and really just any charged object next to this. What's going to happen is the electrons within the pie tin are going to rearrange themselves based on the charge of the object that's brought near it. So electrons will want to go toward an object that's positively charged. They'll want to go away from an object that's negatively charged. Um, now there's not going to be a transfer of electrons because the pi tin is not touching the board um, it's just brought near it so the electrons will rearrange themselves within the pi tin then in the second step the pi tin is touched by a finger and so what's going to happen at that point is there will be a transfer of electrons either out of or into the pi tin and in doing so, it will leave the pi tin charged, um, either negatively or positively, depending on whether the electrons leave or go into the pi tin. So let's kind of uh, look at this situation here. So in the first part, the pi tin is brought next to this positively charged board. Electrons are attracted to positive charges. So what we're going to do is we're looking for the option that show that the electrons congregate at the bottom of this pie tin. This shows us that the electrons are actually moving from the tin to the board. That's not going to happen because they're not touching. Um, we know that protons don't move because they're bound within the nucleus. They can't get out. So you're going to ignore this one. Um, and then we're going to find the one that shows that the electrons just move to the bottom of the pi tin. So just like this. OK, so now all the electrons have congregated toward the bottom here because they're attracted to this positive charge. And then when the person touches it, you know, we have electrons in our body. And since there's a positive charge down there that's attracting electrons, when we touch the pi tin, electrons are going to go from our hand into the pi tin to go congregate down toward the bottom. So we're going to look for that option that shows electrons moving from the person into the pi tin going down to the bottom. So what this does is it leaves the pi tin with excess negative charge, right? You have excess electrons, electrons that are there now that did not exist within the pi tin before because they were added from the human. So now the pi tin is negatively charged. Go ahead and check our answer. Okay, so um, in this first step here, a negatively charged balloon is brought near this metal sphere. So since electrons hate to be next to a, a very negative charge, they're going to all move to the opposite side of the sphere. They're all going to congregate over here. They're trying to get as far away from that negatively charged balloon as they can. In the second step, the person touches the sphere, which provides a pathway for the electrons to get even further away from that balloon. So the electrons are going to take that opportunity. They are going to move into the person's hand. And in doing so, since the sphere is losing electrons, it was initially neutrally charged. Now it's going to be positively charged uh, because it will now have more protons than electrons. Okay, in this situation, the uh, positively charged balloon is brought next to the sphere. So all of the electrons are going to try to congregate nearest the balloon. So they'll move from uh, wherever they are in the sphere over to this side and congregate right here. Then in the second step, a person touches the sphere. And again, the electrons from the human are also attracted to the positively charged balloon. So they're going to leave the person's hand, go into the sphere and congregate over on the side with the other electrons. Since the sphere is picking up electrons from another source, they're moving into the sphere. The sphere will end up negatively charged. All right. And last example here, you've got a negatively charged foam board. You've got a neutral pipe uh, tin. The electrons are going to want to get away from this negatively charged board. So they're all going to move to the top of the pie tin. 
Uh, and then when the person touches the pi tin, it again provides a pathway for the electrons to get even further away from that negative charge. So they are going to leave the pi tin, go into the person since the tin loses electrons and still has the same number of protons, it is going to end up positively charged. Okay, so um, there's your apprentice level of the charging by induction concept builder from physicsclassroom.com. And uh, that'll give you the information that you need to answer all of the remaining questions. Okay, so make sure to let me know if you have any questions.